My name is Paul from Appliance Service by Paul. It's located in Salt Lake City, Utah, a factory authorized independent service company. And now I want to talk to you about why your dryer may not heat. So you load your dryer, you go off and do things, you come back in a couple hours and you find the dryer still tumbling or maybe it's just stopped and you reach in and your clothes are still soaking wet. What do you do now? Call the service man? No, why don't you check a few things I can show you here first and save yourself a service call. I've been out on many calls and this particular problem has shown itself and someone could have checked it very easily. Different machines have different settings like these. This particular dryer has an air setting on the console. This dryer has a separate selector switch which includes an air fluff setting. Many times we've come, we find the only thing we notice here is that it's set on the wrong cycle or the selector switch is wrong. So before you call for a service call, check and make sure your dryer settings are where they should be for it to heat and dry clothes. Then you can go to your circuit breaker if you have an electric dryer. Turn the circuit breaker all the way off and all the way back on. Now you might say my dryer was tumbling when I came, doesn't saw it, but it didn't heat. An electric dryer has two sides to its line, we call them legs. And if one leg is tripped, the dryer may be running, but it wouldn't have enough power to heat and therefore it wouldn't dry your clothes. Here we see another dryer where it's set on air fluff. This is an electronic dryer and you have different settings for different temperatures. If the previous user left it on air fluff, you put your clothes in, you may find you didn't have any heat. So simply change the cycle and start the dryer. Again, I'm Paul with Appliance Service by Paul and we've just talked about things you can check when your dryer doesn't heat.